Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Grounded Crip series. In today's video we've got 4 amazing base designs for you. Would you like to get your base design in a future episode? Leave a comment on this video or join the Grounded Crips Discord, link in the description. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so um, this is our little home. It's not the grandest, not the biggest, but we're very proud of it because um, really worked hard on it. And if you would notice, there's a lot and lot of walls here. That's because this actually has a history. Um, but to explain that history, um, let's go to this shack first. This is our worker worker's shack, which is why there's um, a worker ant head right there. Um, this actually used to be our old home, this really small box right here. And this is where we store our planks, our weed stems, and as well as some food and water. Uh, which is also pretty convenient because th that's our um, source of water over there in our drying rack right there too. So everything's organized. And like I said, this used to be our old home. And the reason we started putting walls outside was because we kept on being attacked by larvae and wolf spiders uh, and orb weavers that for some reason kept on approaching us from the oak tree. They, they would go all the way over here by the rocks, which was... I, I don't know if that's part of the game, but it happened. It happened a lot, and which is why we also have a lot of traps outside, if you would um, look out. Um... Looks like uh, well, an ant was caught by the trap. We also have a little basketball court here going on just to um, add some fun. Uh, we, we, tr we try to practice some trick shots. And eventually we realize that no, it's not enough just having those walls. We also need to start building away because um, those palisade walls could actually get taken down fairly quick by um, the larva swarms that I, uh, used to be a bug, I believe. Um, they would just spawn in tremendous numbers. Right? So we decided to build a little bit farther, which is what inspired us to build over the um, the pond. It took a whole lot of work though, because we made like so many scaffolds here just to make sure that it would hold and it wouldn't break because of just one missing um, piece of uh, scaffolding. Uh, and then here are some... Uh, Nice little statues, stuffed, a stuffed soldier ants, just to put a little bit more character. Uh, it's like we have pets that are guarding our um, little home. And once you enter over here, um, it's actually pretty small inside, if you notice. But again, this is um, more of a homey kind of feel, not really grand. And these, uh, these heads mounted on the wall actually have a history as well. Um, these are the uh, different monsters that attacked us, so it's pretty uh, pretty personalized for us. It's not just there for, for the sake of being there. And over here were um, the weapons that we used to defend defend ourselves, which is uh, why this piece of armor right here, if you were, if you were going to check it out, it's actually quite damaged as well. Uh, so yeah, everything has a history here um, once you enter. And this is our little... Um, kitchen area if you may uh we have um it's also a source of light for this corner right here and we can make um some smoothies over here and store the food immediately for other people to consume and we have a couple of baskets here where we deposit this one is for dandelions and the others are for dumping um our equipment before we leave before we log out because every now and then uh when we get disconnected we would lose our backpack items and uh so we decided before we logging out, we would just deposit everything first. And we added a little chair just to personalize it a little bit. Um, and of course, the Leonto. And over here is um, our little work area. Uh, this place is a little bit blank over here, but uh, we're eventually going to fill this up with more chests. 
Uh, so here are insect materials or um, plant materials that are color coded um, based on what objects you want to put inside. Acorns are here with the um, like slightly orange hue, like berries and other things with the uh, blue one, and of course the workbench. So it makes everything more organized. And our rocks or clay is over here as well in these two chests. We don't have a lot of them, so there's only two chests for that. And yeah, so that's that's basically the um, interior. Uh, it's very homey, very compact, but very very functional. And all around, if you would check, um, there's actually a fair uh, bit of area here for you to be able to walk on. Um, it's for you to be able to have a view of the uh, sunrise and sunset. And um, these palisades are placed um, just right, so you can still shoot if ever uh, you have aquatic enemies, of course, eventually. Uh, you can still shoot over these uh, palisades, and you can even hop over them. So uh, it's pretty safe to walk around. There's, it's it's almost impossible for you to just fall over. So yeah, it's it's filled with palisades, and these palisades are filled with scaffolding. If you're gonna take a peek through them, so really really sturdy stuff. Um, here it's mostly an empty space, but uh, there's actually a story as story as to why this this area was created in the first place. Um, or you're not with probably be the best one to explain since she made this part um i basically when we were gathering materials i just kept on losing grass planks and weed stems i just i they kept on falling into the water and so i was very persistent to build down here so i would be able to grab at least the grass planks and that's what basically inspired this little bottom area <laughs> i originally <laughs> just wanted to grab the grass plants and then eventually we thought, you know what, why not turn this into something? So yeah. here we have just this little empty space. And then eventually, this would turn into maybe like a little um, storage area for our aquatic friends. Yeah, our aquatic friends, like displays for um, whatever it is that they decide to add. And it's also an, a nice viewing deck for um, when you're just out here. Uh, Looking at the water, especially with all those nice reflections when the sunlight hits it. And yeah, so for now there's this um, ladybug head, but eventually I hope they let us display a, an entire koi fish here. So um, thanks for um, having us, uh, and this is our um, humble crib. Yeah, okay, so I built a, uh, this pirate ship, it took me about three days, um, mostly because uh, all the pieces used were, you know, floating out over the water, and there's a bunch of, like, structural issues and having to get all that set up, but it all came together. Welcome aboard. Uh, so up here we got this wheel, and, you know, you got the water back here. Yeah, this might wheel's kind of cool. Um, underneath up there is the captain's quarters. You got your bed, and you know, you got a uh, lure for a table, some extra storage. And if we go under deck, you got all the stuff for cooking you could ever need. You got campfire and a jerky rack as, as well as a, a smoothie maker and that's actually um, glitched into a lure to kind of make it look like it's on the table and of course a workbench and a repair tool over there we go further back here you got storage on uh, both sides actually Then a couple of armor sets over here, and some cool weapons. I think it's the uh, ladybug armor and the rotten bee armor. And then down here, 
is all the storage. So um, these uh, grass plants and weed stem holders are actually, again, uh, glitched to be at an incline. <laughs> and then way back here, you got a big old tub of uh, rum for you. <laughs> as well as a little bit of food growing under the stairs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty much the whole build. Just a cozy little pirate ship to live out of. <laughs>
here, plank storage. We got a metric shit ton of planks. <laughs> and I've got more lighting in here. Like I said, I turn off some of the lighting to, to keep the, the frame rate a little stronger, but everything has like a lot more lighting. So when it's at night, you can actually see what you're doing. Then down here we got ridiculous amounts more plank storage. <laughs> and then over here to the left, and then up here we've got cooking and jerky, and you know, like outdoor grilling. I kind of tried to make this look like it was going to be like a little thing you could bake in an oven type of thing, but you can't put clay in the bottom of it, it's kind of a little bit of a shit deal. This is my humble abode, and uh, that's my friend Mike the Mite, and uh, that's my little aphid friend. I haven't found a name, for, but he's my buddy. Uh, my little wolf spider head, my little orb weaver spider heads, and this is my row of storage chests. They're not all filled quite yet. Um, my golden box is definitely filled, my prized possession at the moment. And these are, of course, my inventory grass planks. Um, these are my wood stem planks. And to the first level, I have my bits, my armor stand, a couple ant heads to remind me of my, my enemies. <laughs> And in here is the outdoor barbecue area. I do collectors, jerky racks, extra storage. Oops, sorry. The workbench, my smoothie maker. Uh, my little stock of smoothies in that storage bin. Up to the right, we have my lounge area. Uh, a lower table that may need to be deleted once bees are added. Uh, my, la my ladybug head. Up to the left, we have an extra room that I plan on doing something extra with. I'm I'm waiting for more decorations to be added. Uh, don't want to fill everything with what we have now. And up here is a larger room. Uh, like I said, still undecided on what exactly I want to do with it, but leaving my options open. And here, through the double doors, is the basketball court, which if anyone would like to challenge me to a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always available, including you casual angry. And uh, that kind of concludes the tour. <laughs> Told you it would be short. I'm sorry. <laughs>